Hit it. At this time, we'll call the Haywood County special call meeting to order. At this time, I'd like to ask Mr. Jimmy Rogers if he'd lead us in our board prayer, immediately followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Rogers, please rise. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, again, we want to thank you for this opportunity to be here. Lord, we want to thank you for the many opportunities that we've had to help children and their educational opportunities. Lord, we thank you for our teachers, our staff, our administration, and all the folks that's so involved in our Haywood County Schools, and the community, and the parents, and the children. Keep them safe, guide them, and direct them. Guide and direct us, Lord, as we make the decisions to help enable and better the school system of Haywood County. All these things we ask in our precious name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Just wanted to let you know that uh, Mr. Burnett has joined us remotely tonight. He's on a business trip, and Mr. Francis was not able to be with us because he's traveling on a business meeting as well to, to Raleigh down to Wolfpack Country. Our next regular board meeting will be held Monday, October the 12th here at the Education Center. Our work session will be Thursday, October 6th at 7 o'clock here at the Education Center. And don't forget the Haywood County Schools Foundation Fall Bingo Saturday night, October 1st, 6 p.m. at the THS, that's Tusco High School Cafeteria. Are there any other announcements that need to be brought forward? Okay. Are there any agenda adjustments that need to be done? Okay. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion we approve the agenda as presented. Okay. Second. We have a motion from Mr. Rogers, second by Dr. Rogers. Any question or discussion on the motion on the floor? There being none, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I assume David voted in the affirmative. I didn't give him enough chance. I'm sorry. <laughs> motion carries unanimously. All right. Next on our agenda, of course, uh, and first of all, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for coming to this. We did felt like it was important enough to get moving on these projects. We uh, got the opportunity to speed this process up, and we're not going to delay it if it's all possible. So we're going to turn it over to Dr. Putnam. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, and again, thank you for being willing to meet. Uh, so that we can expedite uh, many of these capital projects that are uh, set to, to uh, be underway. Uh, the first on our agenda is a Bethel Middle School artificial turf design. Um, CDC, or Civil Design Concepts, uh, and Patrick Bradshaw, y'all previously approved him for civil design work. And so, um, You've already approved him uh, as, as the apparent designer. Uh, what I did want to bring to you, though, is uh, his, um, his quote or proposal for the work to be done at Bethel Middle School Artificial Turf. Um, and what that entails is <coughs> he, will be, um, he will do the preliminary feasibility and analysis, design development, instruction documents, contract administration, const uh, construction observation, topographic location and boundary survey, as well as geotechnical exploration analysis and soil borings. Uh, all that totaled uh, $117,700, which falls within the normal market rate for design work. Okay. Are any questions for Dr. Putnam? We need a motion for approval. We'll make a motion to approve. It's been moved by Mr. Henson, Salem Minister Nesbitt, to accept the proposed uh, <clears throat> design work. Is that right? I'm saying it right. And, and fee. And fee. Okay. Yes. Any uh, question or discussion on the motion on the floor? There being none, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. And I did hear Mr. Burnett. 
I think. <laughs> I thought it did. All right. You're still up, sir. All right. Thank you. Moving to our next item uh, will be Canton Middle School baseball field utility bid. So uh, just for explanation for the greater good of those who may be listening or watch at a later time, previously you approved uh, groundwork to be completed, turf replacement and removal. Um, and so this is a distinct another section of the work that has to be completed. This is the utilities your electrical panel boxes, your electrical wiring that make those connections. All of the utilities uh, associated with each of these respective fields, um, and we broke them out separately. Um, I will give you kind of an, uh, on this first item, give you an overview uh, so that you can see the complete picture, and then we can move through each one of them individually um, for your approval or disapproval, whatever the pleasure may be. Um, we feel like the numbers came in really low. Um, John Bergen was the low bidder on all projects except the football field. There was a difference of 27000 between John Bergen Construction and Carolina Specialties, with Carolina Specialties having the low bid. And that is, again, only for Memorial Field. So John Bergen was the lowest bidder on all the other projects except that one, and there was a $27,500 difference. Um, I do want to point out, I just think it's important for you to have all the facts as you consider who to select uh, to complete this work. Carolina Specialties has not done work for us before, so we don't, we don't know the quality of their work or their uh, customer service, um, but I just wanted you you know, draw that to your attention. FEMA has already obligated money uh, so we can accept whichever bid we choose. However, we will be responsible for the difference. Um, that said, between insurance, unmet need funds, uh, that the $2.5 million with uh, Joe Stanton and the North Carolina Emergency Management Group and uh, the General Assembly, um, FEMA obligation insurance and the 2.5 million unmet needs funds, all projects will be 100% covered with no cost to Haywood County Schools, even if you select a bidder uh, that is outside uh, the, the lowest bid. Okay, so there's enough money and offset to cover uh, all, of, all of the work to be done on the utility side. Um, so uh, FEMA has already obligated, and just again for general knowledge, what obligation means, they've said we are devoting X number of dollars to this project. We will not get any more, we will not get any less, depending on the bidder that we choose. Um, Central Haywood, um, FEMA will uh, probably question uh, that there was only one bid. We only got one bid on Central Haywood High School. Uh, Central Haywood High School remains the most complicated one of all the projects we have. All the others, we've been kind of able to work through the pecking order and the requirements that FEMA's had for us. Um, what I can tell you uh, about Central Haywood as FEMA goes, FEMA is out on a relocation. Uh, they are no longer an option for us. Um, we can explore other possibilities uh, with the state for a buyout. Um, so it is far more complicated, but I'm going to share with you tonight a bid uh, and what it would cost to replace it like for like. And then you'll have a hard decision, you know, do we play the waiting game and explore all other possibilities or do you accept the bid and move forward? Uh, and re replace it like for like and, and continue to maintain a facility that is likely to be flooded. Okay. On here. All right, so with all that said, we'll uh, jump back to the agenda, the one we started with, Canton Middle School Baseball Field Utility Bid. Uh, and I've got the bid tabulation sheet. Um, those are witnessed just for the, again, for the public and for your edification. Those uh, are opened uh, in front of all bidders, 
and notes are taken, they're written down, and they're signed off on and assured uh, by the, the, the bidder uh, providing the number. So on Canton Middle School uh, baseball field, John Bergen bid that at 16000 and I'm sorry, it's handwritten, $16,600. Haynes Industrial bid that at $24,300. And Carolina Specialties bid that at $56,000. So John Bergen was the low bidder by approximately $8,000 on Canton Middle School baseball field. All right. Motion to approve John Bergen is the... Contractor. Second. Contractor for second Mr. Middle School Nesbitt. Baseball. We have a motion from Dr. Rogers, second Mr. Nesbitt. Any questions or discussion on the motion on the floor? Now this includes utilities? Um, this is the utility work. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, any electrical work has to be done under the license of a general contractor. You know, uh, much of our community wanted to, you know, do volunteer work. Well, that's not the way FEMA funds work, um, and they require any work to be completed under a general contractor. Now, the general contractor will select or can select a electrical sub uh, to complete the work, but the electrical sub could not submit a bid because they may or may not have a general contracting license. So it is required for every one of these projects. Okay. Any other questions or discussion? Yeah, I do. so does John Bergen, does he have electricians that work for him? Is that what he's gonna do? I, I couldn't speak to the intentions. Um, my best guess is that he will sub it. He will select a, uh, electrical subcon a licensed electrical subcontractor to operate under his a general contracting license. And he'll oversee the work. He will, he will be responsible for that work. That's why it's done under the guise of a general contracting license. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? There being none, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Moving to item number nine, Pisgah High School baseball field utility bid. For Pisgah High School baseball, I wish they'd have wrote these a little smaller. It'd been more of a challenge. <laughs> Pisgah High School, um, no, that's football. Baseball, baseball. I'm reading it right off the bid sheet just so there's no confusion right here. John Bergen uh, placed a bid of 120,000. Haynes Industrial placed a bid of $174,100. And Carolina Specialties placed a bid of 159,000. All right. Need a motion. I'll make a motion to uh, for John Bergen to do the utility work for Pisgah baseball field. Okay, we have a motion from Mr. Who is, who is that, Mr. Clark? <laughs> Mr. Clark, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe, I have missed that. Second. <laughs> we have a motion from Mr. Clark. A second from, was it Dr. Rogers? Is that correct? Okay. We have any questions or discussion on the motion on the floor? There being none, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, moving to item number, agenda item 10, Canton Middle School softball field utility bid. And for that, we have a bid of $66,800 by John Bergen Construction. A bid from Haynes Industrial for $116,600 and Carolina Specialties of $88,000. Okay. Looks like John Bergen again. Motion to approve John Bergen's contractor on second. 
Can you have a softball? Have a motion from Dr. Rogers to to accept the offer from John Berg Construction, seconded by Mr. Rogers. Any questions or discussion on the motion on the floor? Just one quick question: What will that entail at that softball field? Because I don't remember nothing there being anything down there except dugouts and fans. Uh, so your lights and your power for concession, uh, all of those will have to be taken up two feet above flood level and placed on a platform. Just for familiarity's sake, um, if you've driven by the Canton Rec Park and you've seen that big obstruction right outside the shower or dressing areas, that's the elect kind of electrical platform you'll be looking at. All the uh, infrastructure will be placed on that and then connections made from there. Um, I'll say this, uh, FEMA, uh, in working with FEMA, it has been frustrating. I don't say that in a disparaging way. It is very frustrating work. Um, but I do understand this about the process, I having worked through it now for uh, a little over a year. They are protecting the money that they put forth in restoration. Uh, they want to help you, but they don't want to keep incurring the same damage over and over and over. And by putting the infrastructure, the major portion of the electrical, out of the floodway, they stand a really good chance of it not being impacted in subsequent floods. Therefore, you're looking at your connections being detached and conduit uh, for wiring run to whatever uh, appliance or uh, instrument you may use like uh, at softball it be the softball lights and either drying those uh, conduits out blowing them out or pulling new wire through them and reconnecting to unimpacted undamaged infrastructure on these platforms uh, so it does make some sense in what what it is they're asking us to do but the, only field, the only field that has lights I mean that field don't have lights anyway right softball field the Canton, Canton Middle School, School softball, they don't. Canton Middle School don't. No. It does not. It doesn't have it's, a good lights. Right. So I guess that was the original question. Why is that bid so high? Because you don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you have the. They have power to uh, the press box, and they have power uh, to. Now we're talking about Canton Middle softball. Softball don't have the press box. Canton Mill softball though. They don't even have a concession stand in there, do they? They have a building that has a bathroom, and they might, I guess you could call it a concession, but I don't think it does. I think it's just a building that has bathrooms on each side. And then, but you do have, seems like there's power on the back side of it, but I don't know exactly. You've got a scoreboard. You do have a scoreboard out in center field. Because it used to be the old baseball field. It used to be the old baseball field. But there are no press box. I don't. I, I guess I'd just like to I'm trying well, to get my 50. head around that we've got Canton Middle Baseball, which is up next to the Pisgah Baseball. Correct. Which I could understand why the Pisgah Baseball is high because it could take in some of the middle school. Correct. But the softball, I'm just – confused or I'm like Larry there's really nothing there at the softball field <laughs> well any connection that's made any infrastructure is going to have to be put or built uh, on a fabricated metal platform and up out of the floodplain and if you've priced metal or or wiring or uh, breakers and panel boxes they're they're pretty high right now so a, a pretty small job <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nesbitt can relate. It's, yeah, I second that. Yeah, it can get, with very little electrical supply, it can get expensive in a hurry. I, th I think the thing that makes us scratch our head a little bit is the disparity between Canton Middle School baseball and Canton Middle School softball. There's $50,000 difference there. I think somebody said it, I think because they're close together. Yeah, the baseball, though, so I can understand you think Pisgah's baseball. baseball is going to be picking up some of yeah, the Yeah, I uh, think they'll Pisgah, be using some of the same. Yeah, Pisgah baseball, you're going to pretty much take care of the middle school because all the stuff's right in the middle. One platform. Yeah, one, gotcha. one platform, so the 16,000 may just be the scoreboard up there. Gotcha. But then, the softball, a new like I said, the softball field, I would – 
No, may have to put up a pole or something because I'm thinking. Well, there's they, nothing they, there, so like no, you said earlier. There's no nothing. infrastructure. You're going to have so. to build a platform yeah. right, to make the stretch. One thing it may be too is getting everything up to code. Um, where that softball field, you have a estimated year that was built at Kent Middle School. I do not. It's and been rolling, a while. Rolling into 2022, they may be making us get everything up to code down there, which could entail a lot of new stuff since the original building. Well, and, and Mr. Nesbitt named something that's very valuable. I can tell you that we've extracted Romex uh, that was placed in the ground, which is a residential application at best, and it's not designed for burial. burial. <coughs> so uh, there's a good bit of bringing up to code, if you will, that's having to be done. Well, as long as it's being paid for, the call for the <laughs> I don't know where we are now. I'm just yeah, lost in the stuff. Ready to vote? Okay. No vote. Being no further discussion, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries you All right. I think, I'm sorry, I, I got confused there. I think we, and y'all correct me, Pisgah High School softball field is what we're on now. Yes. That's right. Yes. All right. So the utility bid for Pisgah High School softball. John Bergen Construction placed a bid of 69,000. Haynes Industrial placed a bid of $181,900. And Carol- 181,000? Yeah. $181,900. Yes. And then Carolina Specialties, a bid of 187,000 even. Wow. That's what it says I'm watching him. I'm also, for the record, watching Mr. Burnett vote. I'll turn around and watch him. Okay. And good. this is a certified bid tab. Okay. Um, also important to note that we do not, we, Haywood County Schools, do not manage the bid, nor do we put out the construction documents. That was done by LS3P or Paget Freeman Architects. Okay. Need a motion. Make a motion. We approve the... Uh, Pisgah High School softball field. Second. Mr. Rogers made the motion. Who seconded it over here? With Dr. Rogers. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Questions? The only thing I'm worried about is that the bids up being not much different. I hope he didn't miss something, you know, in the bidding <laughs> process. And you're well, the- and not to be ugly here, but that's the amount he said he could complete the work for and under a certified bid he's responsible for completing the work at that amount and the thing is you're looking at old lights concession bathrooms everything there at 69,000 and then you got the Canton Middle School softball field at 66,000 that just well Here's the other thing with him getting all these bids. If he messes I mean, I'm up glad he bid it. Don't get me wrong. It's up to him. <laughs> yeah, it's up to him. All right. Any further discussion? There being none, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. All right. Good deal. All right. We're on the football field. All right, Pisgah High School football field utility bid. We have a bid um, from John Bergen Construction, $495,500. From Haynes Industrial, we have a bid of $751,100. And from Carolina Specialties, we have a bid of $468,000. And so that is the disparity I was telling you about where Carolina Specialties is the low bidder, the difference of $27,500. Aren't they out of Henderson County? Is that right? It's best I know. I think they are. Well, due due to the fact that uh, this is a high profile um, situation at Pisgah Football, and due to the fact that we've never worked with Carolina Specialties, we are very familiar with John Bergen Construction. Uh, I'm going to make a motion that we uh, prove John Bergen as the 
contract. I'll second that. Football. We have a motion from Dr. Rogers, second by Mr. Nesbitt. Any question or discussion on the motion on the floor? I just we don't have to we don't have to take the lowest bid on. No, you don't. Okay, I agree with you then. I agree. When you're working with a local contract, I think it'd be well. good to keep John Bergen on all continuity. the projects, continuity right there in that general vicinity, and I do too. Let him Plus just roll with all the utilities. He saved us 177 thousand dollars over the course of the other fields. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, any other questions or comments? Discussion? There being none, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Let Mr. Chairman. Roll, Dr. Putnam. Yes, sir. I'll issue the notice to proceed. Sounds great. And again, that's money's covered by FEMA, correct? Or is that, All that what it's you insurance? It's a it's one hundred percent covered. Uh, from three forms. One is FEMA, uh, the the other is insurance, and the other is the $2.5 million from the General Assembly and North Carolina Emergency Management Unmet Need Funds. And so... You mentioned that at the first, but I just want to clarify that. <laughs> yes, sir. And, you know, I know this is... We've all felt a, a good bit of strain uh, by taking uh, so long and being a lengthy process. Uh, however, um, if we'd have had to absorb even any, even one of these projects, it would have tapped our capital reserves. We couldn't have afforded all of them, just what's, to be honest. What's the ETA on Bethel Middle School football field as we stand? Obviously, we'll let the season complete, but is that something we're looking at around Christmas time or something? We are. Um, so what we did, and this has all been very intentional, um, as I indicated that they not only do the design, they provide the oversight of the construction and provide reports back to us uh, for any imperfections or flaws in the work being completed. So they basically make sure it's, it's done as it was drawn. And we did not want to slow any of the flood-related projects for a new project. And um, in talking with Patrick and his staff, they just could not find their way to design work for Bethel Middle till now. And so all of the, you know, once once we issue a notice to proceed on this utility work, all the flood related projects except for Central Haywood will be in progress. Uh, and so that frees them up for construction oversight and then um, also creating designs for Bethel Middle. That's a very long answer uh, to your question. Uh, we're looking at, uh, I've worked with the principal at Bethel Middle and talking with her, we've got several people using that field. I believe the last person to use the field is Bethel Youth and their last possible date is November 3rd or 5th, somewhere in that range. And so the core drillings that are needed would obviously disrupt play and damage the field. And so he is going to schedule that work beyond the last playable date at the field. The survey work may go ahead and proceed. Uh, so once he has all that preliminary data that he needs to begin the design, it'll go into process. And um, uh, Patrick has got very accustomed to saying, we want to rush on this. He's heard it on everything. <laughs> he said, you don't even have to say it. I know every, everything's a rush. So. Um, we hope to have bid documents out uh, and completed uh, end of January, 1st of February, an opening and a notice to proceed to a selected bidder by uh, March and a completion date on the project uh, early July. Um, right now, uh, I neglected to tell you that this is being funded, the, the 117,000 in design work is being funded by the 1.5 million given to us uh, by the General Assembly, and that money is sitting in an account. We we haven't spent a penny until it actually showed in an account that we can see and touch and use uh, for an authorized purpose. So it is sitting there. Uh, special thank you to Representative Pless. I, I think he was a spearhead on that, um, and so um, we'll put that in process. Other thing about, uh, just again, for anyone who might be listening or watches a recording of this, 
Uh, how this usually works is Patrick does all of the logistical design, uh, you know, water easement, uh, drainage, all those types of things. And when it gets to the fun part, uh, the actual turf design, like there's going to be a big old blue demon in the middle or a big old bee or it's going to be royal blue in the end zones or it's going to be white. When he gets to that point, um, he make his contact, I kind of step out at that point and he works with uh, the principal and then the principal invites in whomever they would like to have as a part of that discussion. Uh, I've, in speaking with Miss Miss Paris, she's going to have multiple people there to assist her in developing that design. Uh, and obviously that design would come back through building and grounds uh, for y'all to take a look at and potentially your approval. But that's how all that works. I had drawn a little design here that says Haywood County Schools Board of Education to be in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Beth. <laughs> the, um, speaking of um, timing, Memorial Field, or um, do we have an estimated timeline now that the utility bid is done? So from the time of notice to proceed, um, and I can't remember how they wrote it up, uh, but I can get back to, I don't want to misspeak here because this is important. Um, I was looking back through the addendums. Uh, on Central Haywood, I know that all bidders said, if you put 180 days on there, we will not bid. They asked for 360 because of lead times. Uh, a lot of folks are seeing lead times 20 plus weeks on supplies. I believe, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna give you my best recollection, but I wanna lay eyes on it before I tell you affirmatively. Uh, my best recollection is 180 days from receipt of the equipment, whatever equipment they need to build the infrastructure for the utility, 180 days from then. So it could be a lengthy process. I know I was told that there's one switch gear in there that's six to eight months minimum to get it. Right. We're, we're fighting a couple of things here. Um, we're fighting just a global condition for a lack of supplies. We're fighting global conditions for a lack of qualified workers, uh, and we're uh, fighting conditions uh, for funding. Now, we've jumped through all the hoops for funding and jumped through all the hoops for permitting, and now we're dealing with the, the global conditions for supply and demand. And lucky me, I get to be the one to deliver the news. So. <laughs> it, it is what it is. I hate that saying, but mm. all right. Thanks, Dr. Putnam, for all the work on that project, which is a lot of projects flood related, is of course. And uh, thank you so much for the building and grounds is working very closely and getting everything done, and and so we can proceed as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, next, we have Dr. Nolte. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, we put this nursing contract uh, on the agenda and have attached a sample for you. I'm not sure going forward that you have to approve ones just like this unless you just want to. They're for individual students. You will remember at our last board meeting, we mentioned that there was a, a contract or two pending had looked at them, wanted it changed from the school name to Haywood County Schools, but it's really one student at one school receiving services uh, through New Hope uh, Home Care. Okay. So um, you are, uh, I've given you uh, the one we did change to Haywood County Schools instead of that, that particular school we uh, blotted through or Brooke did blotted out the student's name, but this is uh, one student, one school, and already in Brandy's budget. Okay. So I think you can approve it or just know that we present it to you and I'll sign it, whatever you'd like to do. 
Well, since we're here, let's make a motion. Yeah, I'll make a motion. We approve this uh, agreement between New Hope uh, Home Care for the uh, students. And if Hayward you don't County mind, schools. there are two of them, and they look exactly the like, except okay. for the so student's two name. Two except for the student's name. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So we have two contracts. contracts. Yes. Okay, Mr. Rogers made a motion. I hear a second. Second. Chair, so Mr. Henson, any questions or discussion on the motion on the floor? Is this the same agency that we've dealt with in the past with these? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Any other questions, comments? Mr. Smathers nodding his head. That's okay, too. The contracts are good. Ten four. Yes. Okay. Very good. Any questions or comments on the motion on the floor? There being none, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. I watch Mr. Burnett vote. Okay. Uh, I will inform Ms. Stevenson and Dr. Putnam that they can just uh, let Pat look at the contract in the future and sign it. And so we'll try to proceed that way. Okay. Mr. Francis, we have asked for a closed session. That's correct. Don't anticipate any action. Uh, and we knew we'd have some personnel updates, and we, we did not know for sure whether or not uh, Mr. Smathers had a legal update. Okay. But we're not taking any action after the closed session. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for a motion for us to go into closed session, and we'll adjourn from closed session. Motion. We have a motion from Mr. Nedvitt, second by Dr. Rogers. Any question or discussion on the motion on the floor? There being none, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. We're going to go into closed session.